Hi, I'm Jade from the Saddle Bank and I'm here with Cora today. We're going to go through how you can identify signs of a poor fitting saddle. So this video should not in any way replace the advice and recommendations of a professional qualified saddle fitter. However, it will help you identify at what point you need to call a saddle fitter out to assess your current saddle and make any necessary changes. So firstly, we're going to assess the width of the saddle. So to check whether your saddle's too wide or too narrow, you should lift the flap. On this particular one, we do have performance panels, which maybe make it slightly easier. However, you can see the point pocket of any saddle by lifting the main flap. You'll be looking for this part here, and that angle should follow the angle of your horse's body. So if you can see that, the angle there. If that angle is slightly too narrow, that's gonna be causing pressure points in here. If it's too wide, it's gonna drop the front of the, the saddle down and it's gonna cause problems at this end. So secondly, you can check the balance of your saddle. That's to make sure that your weight is in the center of the saddle. Now to do that, you simply put a bit of pressure on the front and the back of the saddle and try and rock it. A saddle that's not balanced, you'll find will lift quite quite a lot when you when you push down at the front or when you push down at the back you'll see quite a bit of movement this one is quite essentially balanced for this horse so you need to ensure that you have enough wither clearance here so four fingers is a good indication that the saddle is sitting in the right place and you also need to check the sides of the withers there should be good clearance either side of the withers there to ensure that the panels aren't impeding on this area here Check there is sufficient clearance on the gullet either side of the spine. Place your hand down and feel along the spine and make sure the panels are not impeding on the spine or just either side of it. Run your hand down the front of the saddle panel to ensure there are no blockages in the scapula. So once you've checked the front of your panel uh, for blockages, you can then check for bridging. Bridging is where the saddle does not make contact throughout the panel of the surface area. So put your palm down, underneath the, underneath the flap, lift it up, uh, aim if you can pop in here. Run your hand right underneath the saddle panel and feel for any gaps. Again. And push some weight down on your saddle whilst you're doing it, just to ensure there are no pressure points there. If you notice any issues with any of the points that we have discussed, you should go and get in contact with your local qualified professional saddle fitter and get them out to assess the fit of the horse, make any necessary changes, or you may need to change the saddle. Um, horses do change shape quite often, therefore it's really, really important to uh, make sure you do check your saddle regularly. Um, and this video is designed to help you identify as to which points you need to call the fitter out.